Hello everyone, my name is Chetna Biswas and this is my YouTube channel Maths Pool. I welcome you all to this YouTube channel uh, where uh, we will talk about mathematics and we will try to understand every concept of mathematics in details so that basics of every uh, one uh, that is uh, troubling you out will be cleared out. Right. Secondly, we will also be trying to solve questions from previous year so that you will learn how to apply the concepts uh, on the questions that is frequently asked. So right, today I picked one small topic just to uh, discuss with you all the basic definition of set. So far we discussed about the definition of sets and then we studied about the axiom of regularity by defining a, a definition of ordinary set and extraordinary set. This is the video you will find in my channel as part A of a part A of set theory, right? Before watching this video, please go and watch that if you haven't uh, watched this that one before because this is a continuation of that part only. In today's video, we will be studying about axiom of choice, then well ordering property and Russell paradox. So without further ado, let's get started. Axiom of choice. By axiom of choice, we mean that if x is a collection of non-empty sets, there exists a rule by which we can pick one element from each set. The key point here is all uh, set should be non-empty because if a set is empty you cannot pick any element from that set by this axiom of choice I should explain this as this x is a set of non-empty sets so I can write a b c maybe there are only three elements and all these three is are non-empty this is a symbol I will use for non-empty uh, uh, this is a symbol of empty okay some people call it phi but this is not phi phi is this and I am calling is as this set. So this is the notation of a set to be empty, right? So I have considered this A, B, C are non-empty and this rule is saying that whenever X is a set of uh, non-empty sets, there is a rule by which we can pick one element from each of the sets, right? That uh, we can choose A from capital A, B from capital B and C from capital C. So this is the axiom of choice, right? X is a set of non-empty uh, sets there is a rule by which we can pick one element from each set so i think this is a simple result you can understand so let's move to the next topic now the next property up we have is the property of being well defined okay so well ordering property well ordering property by well ordering property we mean that uh, any set every non empty subset of n have has the least element that is if n, n is what? The set of all natural numbers, 1, 2, 3 and so on. You pick any subset of n, right? Any subset of n will have least element. Least element, it will have inside this x only, right? If I choose 2, 3, 4 and so on, this 2 will be the least element and that is inside x. So that is the well-ordering property. It is only applied on the subset of natural number and is only for non-empty subset. Okay, why non-empty? Because if I choose empty set, uh, its infimum and supremum will be plus infinity and minus infinity, which is a different topic which I will cover later on. So for now on, you just consider it to be non-empty subset of natural number. It is only for that. The next up we have is the Russell paradox. Russell paradox is uh, something by paradox you mean that there is a contradiction okay if you take a you will end up having a contradiction and hence a is not correct so this is just an example the definition of statement of Russell paradox 
is as follows what is the statement the statement is there is no set of all sets right so it is saying that there is no set of all sets why so because if i define there exists a set x which is uh, i can i should use a different notation a is a set such that a does not belongs to itself right if i write this and this is a set which is what the set of all ordinary sets this is what this x is the set of all ordinary sets right if i say there is no set of all sets what is this set a x itself can you tell me because i have considered this x to be the set of all ordinary set but this x itself is a set so is this ordinary or is it extraordinary because in both the cases you will get a contradiction okay why so because let's say first that uh, it is ordinary if x is ordinary if x is ordinary this means that x does not belongs to itself but if x does not belongs to itself it is also satisfying the property of uh, that is defined on x right that all the x is nothing but a collection of all the sets that is not in itself right so this x is also not in x so that uh, this x should be a member of this set but this is what this will imply x is equal to x which is a contradiction why because we took x to be ordinary set so we got one paradox right we considered it to be ordinary and we got it to be extraordinary this implies it is extraordinary right so hence it cannot be in this set are you getting my point what i considered is uh, let me explain it one more time so that you understand it better right so if if i consider this x if i consider this to be this x can be any set right it can be ordinary set so if it is ordinary set the definition of ordinary set implies that it does not belong to the set if it does not belong to the set but the definition of the set is saying that all the set that does not belong to set should be inside x so this implies x belongs to x can you see the contradiction you are having x does not belongs to x and then you got x belongs to x which implies it is extraordinary you took one set x to be ordinary but you get it to be extraordinary hence contradiction right similarly i can prove it for extraordinary right so if i take my x to be extraordinary by extraordinary we mean this x will belong to x if this x belongs to x this imply x will hold this property right which is what x is a set such that x does not belongs to x but this is what this is ordinary this set so from extraordinary set you got ordinary set right and that is why uh, this russell paradox is saying there does not any there does not exist any set of all sets because you considered one set and you got contradiction itself right so that is the uh, main result of russell paradox that there does not exist any set of all set you can get a contradiction by simply taking a set of collection of all the ordinary sets and whether this set is a uh, ordinary or extraordinary you will get your contradiction right uh, so let's uh, recall everything from whatever we have studied so far first of all we uh, discussed the definition of a set right and then we considered the axiom of regularity according to axiom of regularity i define two definitions of a set that is ordinary set and then extraordinary set right extra ordinary set the next we uh, discussed about well ordering property of a set well ordering property of a set and then we discussed about axiom of choice after axiom of choice we discussed about the russell paradox
right this are the axioms that we use uh, in the set theory so that is why to clarify this i explained this so that's it for today guys please like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon that will you will see right in uh, next to the subscribing option because then you will get notified whenever i upload any new video so please 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 support this channel so that i help you better and have a nice day guys thank you for watching